So go in here, view details, go in here, view details, go in here, view details. And I know that there is mail right here and here. This is actually, we are in the inbox right now. So eight and nine. That is the actual, um, actually close this now. These two messages are eight and nine. And if I view the column, if I enable the number column, view, show or hide, actually set displayed columns and message list, and where is it? Number, add, nine and eight, nine and eight. It actually names the uh, email file after the actual message indexed number on the mail server. And if I go to sent items, I got one and two in here, so that means if I go into sent items, I should see one and two. And I do. These are the files I would back up. If I actually edit this file directly, you can see there's the mail. So that's how you back up stuff. And it's beautiful that it's done like this because um, it avoids mail corruption. Now, the, of course, this does present a security issue, which means the mail is stored completely unencrypted, unencrypted locally on your computer. That is true. Absolutely true. But for some, well, just to deal with, with this, uh, clause mail is just so much better than dealing with, say, Windows Live Mail, which is basically the only other mail client for Windows that does MailDir, besides Claws. I don't know any one other one that does it. And MailDir is, oh, I'm sorry, Opera Mail does. If you have, uh, if you use the mail client from the Opera web browser, that does store mail in MailDir format, but man, is it a pain in the ass to get to. Now, here's one last thing. I'll go to the Task Manager, and I'll look up uh, Claws Mail. Oh, I landed right on it. Look how little memory it's using. That is amazing. And that's after I only jumped in a couple of windows. If I actually close this mail client completely, and I'll restart it, yeah, it's 17 to 20, and it basically never goes over that. It barely takes any memory. And that is such an awesome thing. Because, especially for those of you out there with slower computers, Claws Mail, huh, it's faster than webmail. Absolutely faster than webmail because you're not loading any ads. <laughs> even uh and it's even faster than Gmail because Gmail is so script heavy now compared to how it used to be. Unless you're using the basic version, but who uses that? So there you go. Clause mail. It works well. And if you want to go truly old school, okay, I showed the Netscape thing. One last thing. I'll go to configuration and preferences and to fonts and change the message to courier news kind of old school looking and but we'll do something a little better. Yeah. Lucida console is pretty good for a teletype font. I have a PC senior which is super old school. That's a font you can just search for it on the internet. It's a free font you can download. We'll just use uh courier new and a 12 point make it a little bigger and hit apply okay so there we go that's super old school looking right there and when you write a reply it does carry through and it does show the ruler because by default it will wrap at 72 characters which is right here so if I start typing you'll notice yep there it goes it wrapped right at 72 went around so there you go clause mail 3.8.0 and uh, for Windows but also for Linux and I think it's fantastic oh yeah God, I keep forgetting to mention stuff okay this is the final thing huh. when you're viewing mail that has both HTML and text on it the way to go between the two uh, or three you may see up to four actually if there's an attachment let's just say someone sent an HTML message with an uh, with an image attachment, you will probably see four icons here. 
the first one shows everything with the headers the second one is just the text message the third one if it were here would be the HTML version of the message and the fourth or fifth and sixth would be the attachments so if you actually click between these yeah you can um, toggle between text mode and HTML mode but 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 you cannot compose in HTML. You can only compose, reply, and forward in plain text. Minor trade-off as far as I'm concerned. Just because you can't bold, italic, or underline is not the end of the world. We can't do that with cell phone texting anyway, right? So what's the difference? So, okay, and that's it. <laughs> I know this was such a long video, but it takes that long to explain this client. Once you start using it, it's really good and you'll be surprised how fast your mail is again.